Hello everybody, Prow here and welcome to another Truly Bedrock episode and we got a lot of exciting things going on right now. Before I get into what's going to be happening in this episode, a couple of like super quick updates. Um, I'm changing how I do like manage my week a little bit now. So um, here I am recording a Truly Bedrock episode. I'm recording it while I'm actually in stream. I'm going to be doing a lot of that. I want to stream more, but I don't have a lot of time to stream separately from recording stuff because then I would never get a chance to record anything. So my new plan is almost any time that I am on recording for Truly Bedrock, I'm going to do it within a stream like I'm doing right now. So that way we can kind of kill two birds with one stone, so to speak, although no birds will be killed at any point in time. You guys know the phrase. So yeah, we're going to stream and do the episode together and look out for me to stream a lot more. Um, you should see uh, if you're watching on YouTube right now, go down to my description below and you will see a link to my Twitch page. I do stream on Twitch. Now, what's today's episode going to be? Uh, today's episode is going to be a lot of work at Scam Headquarters. Uh, we're getting that going again with Rogue Fox. Uh, we wanted to get together actually yesterday, um, but uh, he has some things come up. He was not available. That's fine. Um, I'm not going to quite yet say exactly what we're doing. I'll wait for Rogue Fox for that. But I did start a little part of what we needed to do already. And I, by started it, I mean I was streaming. I started digging this thing out a little bit. And then I realized, hey, wait, I was supposed to record this. Um, the derp number one for the episode, I guess you could call that. Um, anyways, we need to actually dig out like a little basement area down here. Um, I will say we are going to be putting some storage down here, but for a lot more than what we have going on up there already. So you guys will see some of that a little bit later in the episode. I'm sure we'll start to talk about some of those plans. But yeah, we need to dig down about 10 blocks or so. Actually, I forgot to bring this beacon over here. Luckily, my sh amazing streamers reminded me because we need to get haste 2 going. Despite the block lag, it is faster to have haste 2 than to not have it. So we got that going now. And I need to dig this down about 10 blocks. And from there, um, yeah, I'll see what we're going to do after that. We'll probably cut into me um, starting with Rogue Fox. If not, then I'll figure out something else if I can't get with him too shortly. Okay, and after, how long has it been? About an hour and a half. Uh, we do have this area dug out. It is a 10 deep hole that we're going to bury some zombies in. Get down there. Oh, he didn't die. Uh, let's see if the other one dies. Get out of here. Yeah, he died. Um, so, yep, we got that nice deep hole down there um, that will be our uh, basement for scam headquarters it could end up getting a little bit deeper i'm not quite sure on that yet we do need to see but that will do the trick and it's a lot easier doing that in stream it's a lot more manageable or bearable because i can talk to everybody and we've been hanging out and having a good time um, i actually got a lot of shulker boxes about six of them packed almost totally full that we need to drop off in here to get sorted uh, that should be good building material for later um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that and uh, do some final things here in stream with everybody. Uh, we've got a little bit longer with them. Um, and uh, probably when we get back here in the episode, hopefully, hopefully I'll be with Rogue Fox. All right, so I know I mentioned at the end of the last clip that we would be meeting up with Rogue Fox next to work on what you see right over there. Um, the... Uh, scam headquarters, but Rogue Fox has not been on yet. It is now the next day from the last recording that I did, and I kind of need to keep working. Uh, I'm streaming again. We need to make some progress, and uh, that's what we're going to do. So we will be getting with Rogue Fox super soon, that I promise. But for now, I need another project to get working on, and that project is going to be what is behind door number one. It is the potato farm. Um, So... Uh, if uh, you guys have been watching me for a while now, you know I made this little potato farm, um, I guess, right? It was like one of the first like several episodes. This may have been the first farm that I did. Um, now we need to convert this over to work for the like actual way potato farms typically work, like my carrot farm over there. 
So we're going to need to do some deconstruction, which is going to include taking out a whole bunch of hoppers and hopper minecarts under here. We need to trap this guy right here somewhere. We're going to need to bring in some walls and do some stuff. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and I, I guess first things first. I don't want to, I'm kind of scared to do anything yet. But see, we got hopper minecarts there, which that feels like that's moved. That's supposed to be like right here, I think. Um, or maybe it's, ooh, is it both? I don't know. I'll figure it out as we go through for sure. Um, so I'm going to rip a lot of this out and then I'll bring you guys in once we start reconstructing some stuff. About, and I have found quite the big problem uh, because the way that these guys get set up is like right here, dead center. I need to have four, which, wait, which one is center? Is this the, is this the very center? This is the very center. Yeah, so see, like normally, I, I took out some of the hoppers, but kind of the way that this thing works, if my pick block would work, for some reason it's not, is there's a hopper line going right here. This is for the storage system, and this is coming down. It's going this way. It's going down there, and it bends around. It comes back this way and goes there. But I need these hoppers. I need, specifically, I need that one. Um... So I gotta figure out how to change this. And I don't see yet a good way to do that because I can't move this over any. How am I gonna move that? Like, I don't know what to do other than literally take out the chests down there. I can't shorten it up any. And I can't, I'm not there. I can't off center this. That would not, it's not going to work good. It's not going to make any sense. Maybe, you know what I could maybe do? It's still, it's not a great solution. I could go up. I could raise the floor up one. Maybe that's going to put the dirt at this level, which I don't necessarily want either. Hmm. I don't know. This is really. This is really quite the predicament that there's no, oh, aha, uh aha, -huh, uh -huh. hold on, hold on, because I need that block, right? Oh, no, it still doesn't work. Urgh. I was thinking I could go in and over, but that just saves me this block right here. All right, um, right, I'm going to have to make some decisions. I don't know what those decisions are yet. Can I get rid of this one? Oh, hold on, hold on. We're going to do this on camera. Hold on. All right, guys. Uh, we got a breakthrough, I think. So we're going to take this out, this out, this out, right? And we're going to go this, like that. And then, and then we're going to take these out. Hold on. Take these out. And then we're going to go this, this, and this, and this, like that. Hold on, let me get this so I can climb up. And then that's going to allow, yes, that frees up the spot. I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're good. Woo, gosh, I'm so glad I didn't have to, like, really rip this thing apart. Whew. Okay. All right, I'm going to get to... I'm going to get to replacing some of this dirt now and kind of getting things situated for where all the hopper mine carts are going to go. I've done this on camera before, so I'm not going to do this part on camera. Okay, so we are back. I got my hopper mine carts down there. I am all set up to put a villager in here. Um, I was actually able to expand the farm out to make it larger, so we made it the maximum size that we can do it um, and still have the four... Um, the like one water source in each area so that is good and I was trying to figure out like how are we gonna lay this part out because if we go in here to my carrot farm which I believe is at the same level should be like right here right um, like you guys will see in here like I have like they're they're like walled in all the way around right and I mean that's that's fine that's okay but it is like a bit extra work. And the way this one's laid out is actually, I think, set up a little bit better to instead of doing that, what we'll do is we'll just like bring the wall down all the way to the end on each side. So really the only actual additional structure we'll be adding in is just 
the four walls, one going in each direction, I think. And then we'll leave all of this area open to the villagers too. We'll maybe put like a bed over here or something like that in each pod. And that way we don't have to do as much like physical labor, so to speak, to get this thing going. And I think it'll turn out pretty good. It should turn out fine. So really at this point, what I need to do is I need to get a clean villager over here to trap in there. And then, um, then we can build up the areas around there, I guess. And we can get the farmer villagers over and it should be all good to go. So I guess I'm going to go and do that now, right? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so as you can see, we have all the villagers in here we need. They are from our clean villager breeder. So this little guy right here that's going to be in the middle does not have any like food or anything like that on him. Um, and yeah, what we're going to do is we are going to build up some walls right through here just like so and bring that all the way down we're going to do this on all four sides and this is going to be almost like a carbon copy of this Ooh, what, how am i going to look make this side look decent i guess we'll just like looks like divide the whole room like this maybe why not well, looks fine um and I don't know why I came back in here already because I didn't get the other stuff that I need. I need some other some other items, but that's fine. That's okay. I don't know what I'm going to do with this either, to be quite honest with you. I guess we'll figure it out. Um, and then this is going to come up like this. This. What? I don't have any more. Yeah, I already forget what that... I think... I think this is supposed to be, what is that supposed to be? Here, let's take a look. How do we do it? Oh, see, it's gotta be a little bit different because these guys aren't thrown to a center villager. Okay, all right, I kinda got an idea. Uh, let's get our, let's get the wood that we need. Let's get back of dark oak. Uh, that's not a lot of regular oak. Um, where do I have I have oak somewhere um and what else do I need to do I need to knock that out look he grew so what I can do please don't please don't kill the poor guy no what where are you going he shouldn't have been able to come out of there ah uh. Where'd you go? It... What in the world? Uh, 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 no, stop, stop, stop. Stop right there. Get right there. You can't get out. Please stand still. What is he doing? All right, we're going to trap him. Hold on. We're going to get him trapped in here. Watch. Oh no, I ran out of solid blocks. There, go in here. Do it. He's not stopping. Hmm. He wants to get over to some like other bed or profession block. Kinda sorta. Alright, hold on. Let's let's do this. Let's like slowly. Where'd he go? See, look, okay. Look, that's what we're going to do. We're going to get this guy. We are going to get him. Come this way. Get in this little area. Get in there. Go, go, go. In there, in there. You can do it. Aha, okay. Okay, so see, look. Now we have him trapped in a little bit smaller area. This is good. All I need to do is he needs that. That's no, no, stop jumping. Stop jumping. Stop it. Ha ha ha. What you get gotten a bunch of things done. Um, unfortunately, I'm having a little bit of issue. Well, like, what is he doing? 
Uh, let's see if we can get these guys to sync actually now. I've been having some trouble getting everybody to synchronize with the beds and the profession blocks, but hopefully I could take advantage of the fact that it's night now. And oh, look, okay, good. So he synced. All right, look, 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 look. This is good. This is really good. Um, where's the glass? Where's the glass? We need to like start trapping these guys in here. Hold on. He's not synchronized yet. I'm assuming he will at some point. Yeah, I think this will look. This will work good. Um, so if I put this here, who's gonna turn into a farmer? Maybe nobody. I don't know. Um, I mean, if if you play Bedrock Edition, you know, I don't know. Maybe this is maybe it's like this in Java too. I'm not really sure, but essentially, anybody plays. Uh, no, nope. Get in there. What are you doing? Go. Get. 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 Um, anybody that plays Minecraft knows how annoying that this part is. Um, and. Ooh, look, he synced. I don't know which one he synced with. I got one above his head that he should have synced with. I don't know if that's what he did. Um, in any event, what I'm going to do is I think I, I'm just going to let this area just kind of like chill out for a little bit. Um, and then see if they just kind of all fix themselves. Sometimes with villagers, that's the best way of doing it. Um, it's not a very scientific way of doing it, but villagers aren't really that scientific. They don't really work the way they're supposed to work. So that he's going to keep breaking that. That's fine. Uh, so yeah, I think what we're going to do is we're going to leave this. We are going to call this level done. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do about the fact that I do have another level above us we need to do. Um, I am going to, I guess, do that pretty soon here. I don't know if I'll do that uh, sometime during this episode yet or not. But that part is done-ish for now. And uh, we'll let it sit and see if it kind of fixes itself. Okay, so I have something to show you guys that I did on stream with uh, Blue Jay, but have not showed in a video yet. It's actually, I didn't notice how close the gaming district was to my uh, base, but as you can see, it's actually rather close. And uh, me and Blue Jay are working on this game here. Um, I had come up with the like generic idea to it, and then Blue Jay has like inspired it about tenfold from there. Um, and to show you guys this, let me see if I can find, where is it? I swore I had it in one of these. Here we go. Is there any more anywhere? Uh, maybe not any that are unused. Um, so just for now, to keep things simple, uh, we'll I'll just take this one right here. Um, but the idea I had was for a, as you can kind of see here, a pig racing game. Uh, I have some pigs here in some saddles. Let's go ahead and just uh, get on this guy right here. Let's see if we can guide him out. No, you get in here. There we go. And yeah, this is a pig racing game that is uh has quickly turned into a almost Mario Kart style game. And uh, I'll actually be able to show you guys that in probably the next episode because me and Blue Jay are going to work on this soon. Uh, but the idea is that uh, you will, we will have both a timed version and a untimed version, a more like a race, like player versus player version as well, uh, where people can come in here and do some racing. So I wanted to make use of the fact that you can – you can ride pigs like this, like you can steer them and do stuff with them. Cause I've never seen anybody make any use of the carrot on a stick. So that was my inspiration for the game. Um, additionally, um, we are going to be working on this much further. There is quite a bit to add. It is nowhere close to done. This is just really like very like beginner stages of it. Uh, but essentially you'll have players race across here. Um, you would have one full 
carrot on a stick or I think the way we plan on doing it is uh, like bringing them down to like half full. And I can't remember how many uses you get from it. Somewhere around like tw like 12, 20 something. So that's why we're bringing it down to half. I think it's like 24 and we can, we're going to bring it down to 12. Um, is there a, there's a spider chasing me. Which I do not get out of here. I don't want him killing my pig. Come here, pig. Oh, gosh. Ah, I just used it. So, anyways, a lot of people don't know this, but when you uh, click the stick and carrot while you are on a pig, it will actually make him run faster. So, this is kind of like your Mario Kart equivalent of using a mushroom. So, you'll, you'll start out with a half-damaged already carrot on a stick. Um, you will race around this track. Uh, there will be obstacles and other items that you can actually use to help improve your performance. And, and it is a three lap race. And the winner of the three laps is the winner of the overall race. Um, and it will probably have like a uh, three lap like time trial too or a single lap. I don't know. And then, yeah, the idea is that you kind of battle against the other person and you use strategically use your carrot here to... Uh, take off in the straightaways or to pass somebody um, you actually do end up like pushing the other person out of the way as you go by them so you can actually push them off the track it's it's really cool um, as soon as it's done uh, me and Blue Jay will actually we'll have to do the first like official race maybe we'll get a couple of the other guys to race with us too to make it super interesting but stay tuned this is probably going to come in the next episode I would imagine so this bunnies get out of here this bunny's keeping me from doing anything. There we go. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's get our pig back in here. And yeah, I wanted to show you guys that. And then we got one more thing to do here. Okay, next we are in the shopping district. And I just noticed that somebody made the bank a giant turkey. Is this a turkey? It kind of looks like a turkey, but it looks like it has horns on it too. Is it a reindeer? Is it a turkey deer? I don't know what it is, um, but it is pretty funny. Um, so a couple things we're going to do here. First, just a quick check of the shops. I don't know that the uh, library here has sold anything. It uh, does not look to be the case. Uh, we're going to need to get more stock in here for sure. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Um, not enough people are dying, apparently, to need books. Uh, let's check the shulker shop here. See if anything's been purchased from here. And ooh, looks like we sold some carrots. Probably TNC. And then actually, I got two shulker boxes of bone blocks. So let's go ahead and place those down. I'll have to let everybody know that we have the bone blocks back in stock. It comes with two rows of bone blocks and one row of bone meal, uh, which is a great deal for nine diamonds. So any of you guys out here on TB, that's a good deal. This is the best deal you can get for sure. Let's keep it up for that. I also do not believe that any wood has sold, but we shall check that really quick. Oh. Got a couple diamonds here. And that's it. So doesn't look like Zap's been in here in a little while. We'll throw him in his half. I'll keep the, the one there. And then one last thing is there is a uh, Christmas competition going here. Or not competition, but like a Christmas event. And I believe it's in this thing right here. I believe this is Zloy's idea. Uh, stop, sign up for Secret Prankus. And let's take a look here. Welcome, child, to the Prankus Sack. Push the button and get a random name. Put your name on a paper and put it into the dropper. Prank whoever's name you got. So we'll grab a sheet of paper here. I don't even know if anybody's name's in this yet. I guess we shall find out. Uh, we will put our name in here because I do not mind being pranked. Um, it is all in good fun. So we'll put Prowl on the sheet of paper. Uh, we shall drop the paper. Wait, where do you put the paper? put it into the dropper uh, but I feel like if we oh wow there's only two in there so far so let's see who we get I've debated on keeping this secret versus letting everybody see who it is and I think we'll let everybody see who it is um, that way 
you guys can kind of maybe give me some ideas on how we're going to prank whoever it is that we get. All right, let's press the button. Let's put ours in. And who do we got? Zap. We got Zap. Okay, we'll have to figure out how to how to get Zap. This one I'm not quite sure, or sure on off the top of my head, but I'm sure we shall think of something. And you guys can definitely help me out with that. Um, all that being said, though, I do believe this takes care of everything that I... Oh. Oh. What are you doing in there? Ow! He's riding a pig! Get off the pig. You're not playing my game. My racing game. What is this? We have... Oh, okay. That was, uh... Um... Killer Drones thing. Okay. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and call it an episode, guys. This was a fun one. Um, I hope everybody so far is enjoying the fact that I am now streaming more often. And I am streaming the recording of these episodes. Almost all of it. These last, This last clip right here, I did not do while streaming or the last couple clips. Um, but a majority of the episode was done on stream. So, if you'd like to see a little behind the scenes, making of the episodes, see things happen beforehand, and just in general, you like the content that I put out and you would like to support me even more, join me on Twitch. The link is in the description down below because I am streaming three plus times a week now as I go through and do these episodes. So, I will continue to do that for the foreseeable future. Um, this is partly because of the whole COPPA thing, which I am not going to talk about here. There are much more educated people to talk about that than myself. Um, check out Wells Night if you'd like to know more about what COPPA is and how it is hurting potentially YouTubers in the gaming segment, especially Minecraft, or not hurting, but can potentially hurt. Um, this is why a lot of us are looking into doing more on Twitch. So definitely check me out on Twitch to help support there. I'm rambling on. I kind of always do that, right? Yeah, I do. You guys are awesome. Thanks for watching. Click that subscribe and like button and make sure to drop me an idea for any pranks on Zap. I will consider all of them. You guys have a great day. Goodbye.